hello and good afternoon and welcome to another episode of claire hair don't forget to subscribe and share we are on our road to 10,000 subscribers i'm speaking into existence so i'm just going to show you how my hair looks like in its basicness um i actually fought with talking or narrating while i do this or not um yes my little dance um but i was like let me at least speak a little bit because i know some of the styles are a little bit hard to do but some of these are pretty easy but i'll still talk to y'all because it's my channel um hopefully everybody's doing good today today is wednesday i think <laughs> the days have been like slipping through this last year is just crazy um so we're gonna go ahead and tie up the top so this one's gonna be a braided crown um, I like doing this for like a little elegant look, like half up, half down. Don't tie it too tight because um, of the size of the braids, you want to make sure you're not pulling on anything. So this is the brown, the braided crown, half up and half down. I think it's a cute little hairstyle I'll definitely use for sure. Um, all my accessories are, of course, um, from Amazon. I'm just ready for them to cut the check. Um, so I'm just going right here, just showing you the back of it. It's definitely has become fuzzy. This is a week six i believe Ooh, that's a good picture i think this is week six i want to say this is week six i know it's past the month um i have my two space buns princess leia um i have my two space buns there you know i just kind of divvied it up in the back it's not perfect i know you saw that little rat tail part that was me saying that's me that was me basically saying y'all need to shush, shush okay i know i see it um this is shot in a single shot so there's gonna be certain parts where it's not perfect but you know i have them edges laid to sleep shh, 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 they're sleeping um but this one i was kind of like let's do something different you know this one was more like an experimentation um this is more something i would probably do for a photo shoot i mean it doesn't look too bad actually high low buns but um definitely this was more like an experiment because i was like i know these guys have seen all the million videos of how to style books braids yeah it's boring yes okay we're past that so i want to do something new with a cute little different one i'd probably actually wear this out it's, i thought it was gonna look awkward but not really um this is a high bun if you guys watch monday's episode this is the high bun i was telling you to not do when you first get your hair done clearly i have some age on these braids um but definitely do not do this because as you can see um with all your hair being pulled up in a bun um it's kind of pulling it doesn't hurt because it's much age but when you first get your hair done your scalp's already being pulled from the braid do not do this do not do this you'll remember me let's just do a pause that's a cute picture <laughs> but you'll remember me for sure um definitely check out my previous video on monday about me talking about the comparison between the marley hair and the cadecalon hair um like i said it depends on like your level of shininess like one of the uh um, one of uh, my subbies said it depends on their level of like what shininess they want to do Which I think that's very important of like what type of shine you want to get um, This is one of the ones that this is the only reason why I'm narrating this video So you're gonna go in you're gonna get the outside braids and you're just gonna twist it I mean uh, tie it like you would a shoestring on top not too tight and then you just keep tying it to the bottom and then that's pretty much it and then you just tuck in what um what pieces are missing now that i am watching this video i feel like i left y'all astray um but definitely if you guys want to see this slow down and how i tie i um tuck the ends in definitely leave a comment below i want to i wouldn't mind reshooting it but um definitely still a little chignon i feel like i'm saying it wrong chignon okay um but definitely um it's a cute little elegant hairstyle i would definitely do this with some dangly earrings but like i said you're just taking the outside braids and you're just tying them and then tying um you did it three times and then you just tuck the ends it doesn't matter where you tuck the ends at and this is your classic low bun it's giving corporate america it's giving i'm on my way to my interview it's giving it's giving <laughs> let me stop um but this is definitely a low bun um i kind of twisted it a little bit i just didn't do it like a you know how messy money just stick it in there i kind of like twisted it to give it some type of elegance because like i said the beautiful thing about having braids is that it gives you that texture to where it doesn't look basic so that's pretty much that i have some baby hairs chilling out i was so excited because i was like "Ooh, i'm almost done filming um this one's gonna be the braided bang bang is that what the young are the young kids still doing that i'm not up to date with gen z i don't know what they do they're funny though i like them um but the bang this is a braided bang here so you're just gonna go ahead and get some pieces from the middle part and then braid it across your forehead and of course use some pins to hold it in place and that's pretty much it i think the hardest thing that people i can see people try to replicate this is not knowing which direction like i said you're bringing it from the back 
So um, you just want to make sure you're careful on where you're pulling it from because it could look very awkward and unfinished. So just make sure you pull it, just pull them towards the front, like you're braiding like a crown around your head, but halfway through. But this is another cute hair. So I might use this. <laughs> I might use this. Uh, I think I'm supposed to be going somewhere on Saturday. So I might use this little braided bang, you know, something to uh, stretch the hairstyle out because I think the reason why I haven't taken my braids out besides laziness is that I keep thinking of new hairstyles all right so this hairstyle is actually the one i wore for oshun uh from the yoruba i want to make sure i'm pronouncing it right yoruba religion mostly in west africa i.e nigeria um the oshun goddess of love and fertility i thought this was really cute um a cute little hairstyle you know um just these buns at the front i actually was going to do my whole head in a bantu knot but I just started getting a massive headache and I had to take some Tylenol. So I was like, you know what, let's not do that. Um, so I only ended up doing the first four of the front and I actually ended up liking the look. And then sometimes with the braids, because they're so heavy, I mean, some of the ones in the middle are so thick, like they start kind of like, um, they kind of start like falling forward. So it kind of looks like a crown, as you can see in my video on Monday. Um, I actually liked how it looking, but you know, I can definitely say it's a cute little hairstyle. I think the accessories are really what's bringing it out. <laughs> i was so happy um but it's just one of those things where it's just like I, it was an accident i really was supposed to do my whole head of bantu knot but i was just not having the patience that day plus i had a massive headache um but this is just some close-ups of it uh, my accessories uh, my little lip piercing parentheses that's definitely one of the accessories i put in my mouth <laughs> make sure you're an adult don't little kids don't follow this it doesn't taste like anything it's nothing bad but that's pretty much it thank you guys for chilling with me and these are my different ideas tell me which one you like the most